difference in Christ Jesus. A God is crazy in loving, mad after making human encounters and intimate relationships. God desires everyone to stay tuned with Him. And this is very well seen in today's Gospel. After magnificent heaven being torn open, spirit descending like a dove in the river Jordan, and voice acclaim, This is my beloved Son, in Him I am well pleased. The same Spirit drives Jesus into the wilderness to be tempted by Satan for 40 days. Now, in the ancient Near East, wilderness is a place of ambiguity. It is an evil abode of Satan, a desolate dominion of uh, wild animals. But all throughout the salvation history, God transformed the wilderness into a place of uh, divine visitation, of deliverance, a place of uh, personal encounter with God, a place of covenant, a place of privileged relationship with God. Hebrew people had an experience of refuge and concern against aggression and a very personal friendship with God against hostility. In the life of Abraham, he was deserted from the land of Haran to Canaan and he became a man of blessing. Jacob was deserted from his hometown and he had the experience of Bethel and of Peniel. The prophet Elijah was in the desert for 40 days and at last he had the profound experience of God. Moses was on the Mount Sinai for 40 days and 40 nights and it is there God gave him the two stone tab tablets, Torah, raising the people of God, Israel as the people of covenant. Lastly, Israel themselves were in the desert for 40 years to be tempted. But at the climax, God made them a people holy to God. For he said in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse 2, It is you the Lord has chosen out of all the peoples of the earth to be his people, his treasured possession. Definitely, the desert is a place of a divine encounter where we come to meet God and today when Jesus sets in motion to the wilderness to be tempted by Satan it is nothing but to save us that's why Pope Benedict the 16 would write when Christ was taken into the wilderness he took away our sins and he burdened himself with the virtuousness of humanity and opening for us the pathway to conversion. Now, we all are in the wilderness experience with our own a bit of brokenness, our own sinful situation, despair, grief, anxiety, isolation or loneliness, loneliness or mental stress or our, sometimes it may be our guilty conscience. But today, Christ is there to save us, to make an encounter with us. And this is very well reflected in the second part of today's Gospel. It inspires us to open our hearts in conversion and faith to God. Christ acclaimed, the time is fulfilled, repent and believe in the good news. Now the Hebrew word for conversion is uh, shub which means uh, to take an 180 degree around about you turn to oneself because we are created by God. I, our life begins from God. Our faith journey started from God. Now it's time to look back to God, to make a refocus and to fix our motives and our eyes onto the Lord. That is what conversion means, to see through the eyes of God, how God sees everything. That may be the reason why Joseph Epigola, a famous theologian, would define good news as Christ's victory over sin and evil. He continues, 
Good news means God is already here. He wants everyone. He wants to forgive everyone. He wishes to make everyone his friends. He is seeking a better, happier life for everyone. Dear friends, today, God is deeply interested in us. He wants to make us his friends. The church stipulates for us in this season, 40 days of fasting, prayer, and repentance, not to, black, not to blackish our faces with weeping and mourning, but to stay tuned with the Lord, to focus to the Lord, to fix our eyes on, on Him, aiming to have a very close, loving encounter. Let us ask the Lord's grace that He may transform our pain into a divine encounter and that we may refocus our life to start a new, a new life with a new vision, change our attitude, and to see as Christ sees everything. Amen.